welcome to Vincenzo's Plate from Times Square in New York City. Hello foodie friends and welcome to Vincenzo's Plate. Today I want to show you how to make the most delicious and sexy chocolate fondue. Perfect for Valentine's Day, perfect for when you have friends over and perfect for when you want to spoil yourself with not much work in an easy, easy way. So we want to start by warming up, not boil, 150 ml of cooking cream. When it's nice and warm, you want to add the chocolate. So I've got 200 grams of 90% dark chocolate and 100 grams of 70% dark chocolate. It makes it more delicious. Then what I like to do before the chocolate melts, I want to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract and one teaspoon or maybe two of amaretto or you can use rum or you can use frangelico, whatever you like. Hey guys, if you need to convert uh, the measurements, there is a, a link in the description below. You can click on it and it will convert to you. A big thanks to Swissma for sending me this wonderful Swissma uh, fondue set, which will make your evening more classy. When you do a fondue, don't just use a normal pot. You need to use something classy because it's a fondue and you want to spoil yourself. And this one comes with those beautiful little folks, different colors. I love the fact that they have different colors. It's classy and it's red, like Vincenzo's plate. When the pot becomes nice and warm, you want to add the nice chocolate ganache. Oh yeah. Mm. Once the chocolate is on, you cover with the lid. Now it's time for you to dip in your favorite ingredients inside. So you can use nice strawberries, or you can use Italian biscuits, or you can use strawberry marshmallows, shaped like a heart. What should I try first? I think I'm gonna go for the marshmallow. Mmm, you can't resist. Mmm. Mmm. Now it's time for the biscuit. I love this biscuit. Mmm. 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 I'm making love with the strawberry. Mmm. Guys, thank you very much for watching this romantic Valentine's recipe, but this is not romantic just for Valentine's Day. It's romantic for all year long. You can make it for when your friends come over and you don't have a dessert. So thank you, see you in the next Vincenzo's Plate video recipe. E ora si mangia, Vincenzo's Plate. Please subscribe. I've just got eyes for you.